Hi, this is Hector Garcia, CPA, Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and Intuit Premier Reseller. I'm going to talk about a new feature inside QuickBooks Enterprise 2018 called Advanced Sales Order Fulfillment. The idea behind the feature is that we can use an Android device, whether it's a standalone Android phone or tablet, or this special one called the Motorola MC40, which has a combination Zebra barcode scanning in the device, which allows warehouse personnel to receive an order to pick a sales order to fulfill, and they can use the Android device to let the back office know, yes, this order is ready to ship, or they can actually scan the products to make sure they're putting the correct items inside of the box. So let me start by showing you how to set this up. We're going to go to the edit menu, preferences. Then we're going to click on items and inventory. We're going to click on the company preferences tab and we're going to go inside advanced inventory settings. So right there where it says advanced inventory settings and we're going to click on the tab that says site operations. Once we click on site operations, we're going to click a check mark under new sales order fulfillment worksheet. And we're going to click on add so we can add the new device. So we're going to go into our actual device, Android device that has the software installed, the new QuickBooks Enterprise desktop app. We're going to load that in and we're going to add the code that the setup screen asked us to add. So we're going to go ahead and just type in the code. And that's the code that was on our QuickBooks Enterprise setting screen uh, just earlier before we switched over to the phone. And then we're going to click on done and it's going to connect online. All you really need to know is that this needs to be connected via Wi-Fi. This doesn't have to be physically connected to QuickBooks or to the computer in any way. The minute you connect it via Wi-Fi with that code, now this is going to be synced as long as we have access to the Internet. So you're going to see when you first log in any open sales orders. Now, you can have multiple users using it and you're going to see all the users listed here. For now, we just have one user called uh, QB training. I just created one user called QB training and that's the only user that's going to be using uh, the actual device. Now, let, let's also create the user inside of QuickBooks. We actually have to create a vendor um, just for the user because QuickBooks needs to attach that pick order to uh, to an actual uh, vendor. So we're going to go to the vendor screen. We're going to click on vendor center. And then we're just going to create a new vendor and the vendor again, it's the name of the picker, the person that's going to uh, use the phone or the or the Android device or the barcode MC40 device. So I'm just going to create a vendor, which is usually the, the person in the warehouse's name. But very important, we have to select the vendor type warehouse user. That's key. So as long as we have warehouse user as a vendor type, it will recognize it. Now let's go to customers menu and click on sales order fulfillment worksheet. This is where the new feature really gets uh, fully completely used. Any open sales orders that you see right there on the screen will tell you whether or not they're fulfillable. So we're going to click next and then we're going to select, let's say it happens to be multiple items. We're going to select which items we want to fulfill, click next. And then it's going to ask me, OK, what name do we get this order? You can leave the default and which picker do you want to send it to? So depending on who's set up on each device, you can do that and you can even send them notes. So we're going to go ahead and type on the note saying, go ahead and use bubble wrap when you uh, put this in a box and we click on create and send or we can click on create and print if you want to just see what the pick uh, list is going to look like and you can actually just print out a pick list if you want to but there really isn't any need to printing just showing you how it works uh, because we're going to be using all electronic devices to do so so we're going to we're going to send that pick order through the device uh, we can view the progress and kind of see that there happens to be an outstanding sales order that was sent to be picked so all the ones that are sent to be picked are going to show there and i can still print them i can still view the pick list again, if I want to, so I can actually look at all the details, make any changes if I need to, or actually see what has been picked if it's been partially picked. Anyway, 
We're gonna update the sales order and we're gonna go into the app to know exactly what that's going to look like or what the experience is gonna be like for the warehouse person. So the warehouse person is gonna open up the outstanding sales order. Uh, all the items that are there are gonna show up there. You're gonna be able to see them. Um, if there has been any updates in between, you can click on updates to see if there's been more items added to the pick list. Or we can just select the item that we want to pick. We pick it from the warehouse. We select the quantity number that we're confirming that we have picked and put on a box or ready to ship. And then we're gonna hit complete and yes, and we'll sync the data and that will send it through the internet down to your QuickBooks Enterprise. So your QuickBooks Enterprise will now show that this order has been picked or partially picked depending on how many you had in stock or how many you sent out to be picked. I'm just gonna click on uh, back into the, uh, the order fulfillment sheet and we're gonna click on refresh so it's no longer saying it's sent to be picked, now it's saying it's actually picked. So I can actually click on the sales order and I'm gonna get that, uh, that sent for pick status there but very important, you have to click on update. You actually have to tell QuickBooks to update it so it says that it has been um, picked. So that's one really key component of, of this function is we actually gonna have to view the pick list itself and then we're gonna click on where it says update sales order in the bottom. I could have just clicked on update sales order in the bottom uh, on, the, on the other screen that actually worked just as well. But as long as I update it, I go back to it and I will, it will say fully picked or partially picked depending on whether it has been fully uh, fulfilled or not. In this particular case, this wasn't an order that was fully um, fulfilled. Let me create a new one, create a brand new one and do an entirely different example. So I'm gonna create a sales order from scratch. I'm gonna select, let's say, brass hinges. It's one of my inventory items. And then I'm gonna select uh, another inventory pipe, uh, light uh, pine, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, there it is, light pine. So I'm gonna select that one. And then I'm gonna do, let's say, uh, let's do four of these and then let's do six of these. I don't have six, I only have two. So let me just do two. So I'm just two, creating the sales order for the example. So I'll do four and two. And these are two inventory parts in which I have my barcode uh, loaded into it. And right now they're not showing as them being picked because it's just a sales order. So now I'm gonna go select the sales order. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and then click next. I see that it's, it's still open. I select um, specific items that I want to send to be picked or maybe I will have both items however I said that I want to fulfill this order there is my uh, default name my pickers name and then I can put any notes I need uh, for the pickers I'm gonna put it uh, put it in a brown box I'm gonna put that type that in into the instructions so I click on create and send that's gonna send it over to my Android device so I'm gonna now this is what it looks like with the warehouse person uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. I see the orders that are outstanding. I even see the little note that's on the bottom kind of warning me, letting me know there's special instructions. When I click on the order itself, there's my two items. And again, like I did it last time, we could have done it manually or I'm actually going to scan them. So I'm actually gonna scan the product um, and it's going to recognize it and it's gonna scan it and bring in one. So you see that one has been picked at this point. Now I can just manually put two, three, four, whatever it is, or I can just scan, and as many times I click on the scanner, it's going to increase that quantity, okay? So let's try it with the other product here. So I'm gonna grab another barcode scanner I have here, another barcode product, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start scanning. So I'm gonna scan it once, twice, uh, let's see, three, and then four. So I got all four, and now you should see that it says four, and then I'll click on pick, and complete, and that's it. Uh, so as a warehouse person, I went ahead and completed the order, uh, or the picking order. I'm gonna go back to my sales order, status report with all my picks. It's still saying sent to be picked, but once I click on uh, refresh, it should now say picked um, 100%. So I can, you know, again, they can review the pick list and see exactly what was picked, and there's all the, all, all the statuses. I'm gonna click on update sales order, and then I'm gonna go back to the sales order just to see what it looks like and it should say picked, that's perfect. And that's it, I mean, uh, obviously you have to kind of use this in practice and uh, adapt it with your products, make sure that you have all your products with your barcodes. But what's really neat about this feature is that uh, you no longer have to print out pick list or get uh, manual 
uh, processes to figure out that you picked this, is this ready to be shipped, that sort of thing. This is really going to enable digital communications between the back end, the fulfillment invoicing process, and all the warehouse personnel. But most importantly, because it doesn't have to be physically connected to QuickBooks you know, via a cable or in a local area network, it just needs to have internet access. That means that you can have an, a physical office that sends the product to be picked, and then you have a completely separate remote location with inventory that's receiving the pick orders in the mobile device. So you don't, you don't have to be in the same physical location, which is great. As long as there's internet access, you can actually send your pick orders from one location. And as long as you got your mobile device hooked up and connected and, and, it, and it, it, the pick was sent to you because it was your picker that's actually connected to this device, you can receive those orders and you can communicate digitally about sales order fulfillment. I'm very, very excited about this new feature. I'm actually starting to see um, a lot of excitement around uh, people trying to organize their their advanced uh, picking process. So I really hope uh, that you enjoy this feature as well. Now, it's really important to keep in mind that only QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant subscription and QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum subscriptions will have this new feature. This new feature, it's part of a feature set called Advanced Inventory, which actually contains some additional things. It contains barcode scanning, it contains FIFO inventory evaluation, it contains multiple warehouse location tracking with bin location, it contains a serial or lot number tracking, and this new advanced picking feature. So that entire feature set is called Advanced Inventory, and it can only be found in the top two tier of the versions of QuickBooks Desktop, which is QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant and QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum. Now, remember, you don't need to have this device, the MC40, that's over a thousand bucks to use this feature. You can actually use any Android device to do it, but you obviously won't get the barcode scanning. If you actually wanna be able to barcode with this thing, you have to use the Motorola MC40, that's what it's called. Uh, the device so you can search on the internet um, I think they're anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars I don't know how much they're gonna go for by the time you watch this video but that's what the device costs a, a regular Android device there are some Android phones and tablets that are a hundred bucks so you can use it with any tablet it's just that that barcode feature that's yeah, that's really um, the, the premium product for you to use now uh, to purchase QuickBooks Enterprise or to ask detailed technical questions about it. Uh, Intuit has a direct phone number for QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Sales Support. And the phone number is right there on the screen on the slide that you see there. And there's also the direct website for you to go straight into the QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant SKU information on the website direct. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your new QuickBooks Enterprise 2018.